Now, as we've all just heard of the passing of another one of Britain's greatest scrambling heroes, Brian Badger Goss, I thought I'd share this very short clip that I filmed of Badger being interviewed by Jack Burnicle at the 2020 Telford Classic Dirt Bike Show. Uh, like, let me go up the workshop with him every night. And there's another kitty next door to me, Tony Chant. We got together with Lou every night and um, just clean his bike, work on his bike, go off to meetings with him. And my mother said, you are not going grass track riding, so you want to forget that. But anyway, after a little while, about a year, I managed to convince her that, you know, Lou was going to make me a bike, and he did. He made a little bike, a little grass track bike. And what bike was that then? Just an ordinary two-stroke, called LCS, Lou Coffin Special. And it was all dope, and I'll tell you what, it would go. What size engine was it? 200. Yeah. And um, he had it on dope. And I convinced me mum, yeah, he did. I convinced me mum that uh, it'll be all right. It's only riding around, around a grass field, something like that. And I was only about, what, six stone? And four foot, you know, no, no size at all, no weight. And I managed to convince me mum that, you know, it would be all right. So I went with Lou to these meetings. And I started flying on it. I was, I was bloody flying. I went up to uh, Sittenborn in Kent and I was mixing with the big boys. And then I suppose it must have been like six months later, we had a meeting down at Witten Down, Exeter. And it was on a Saturday, will it be Hedge on the Sunday? And I was all chuffed down there and I was keeping up with him at Witten Down, Exeter. And there was a bloke called Eric Congdon on a 500. And I was right there with him. And I thought, I'll have the fucker. And I went out wide and went out and went out and went out. I hit the fence. God, I hit the fence, I went over the bloody hammer bars. And God, did, I, did that hurt. That really, really hurt. And there was a crowd come round and a woman, um, Red Cross, she was trying to get me boot off. And out the back I saw Luke Coffin coming. I was frightened to death of him. And he said, out the way, out the way, out the way. He said to the woman, have I broke his leg? <laughs> she said, I don't think so, he can move his toes. Give him a hot, sweet cup of tea, he'll be all right. That's what he said. Give him a sweet cup of tea. And you know, he picked me up, put me in the back of his, this is true, put me in the back of his Vauxhall. He said, I expect you want to go to hospital. Do I know it, but he don't. So he went home, carried me in, put me out to bed. Mother started crying. What have you done to the boy? <laughs> and do you know what? He said, I'll be down tomorrow morning because it's Willoughby Hedge. Get your boots on, bit of support there. You'll be all, you'll be riding. He come down in the morning. And honestly, it was bloody black and blue. And I was in bed for a week. And the doctor said, I think we ought to go for an x-ray. And I, I had broken both main bones. I had to have a broken reset. I was out then for like a long time. Yes, the great uh, Badger Goss there, another of the country's greatest racers from back in the day and like me, I'm sure you'll remember watching him on the BBC Winter Scrambles uh, back in the 1960s. <laughs> 